Yep. All right, Sketch Pad Podcast, we back. Like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be reacting to the new X-Men animated series trailer. And uh, yeah, we'll be back, man. Alright, yeah, it's Cash Pad. You know what it is. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. If you want to donate to the Sketch Pad podcast, right there, links in the description. I mean, and links are on the screen. Thank y'all for all y'all donations. That helps a lot. YouTube has definitely finagled us, railroaded us, and all that good stuff. But we're gonna still keep this train growing. So look, man. X Men trailer, man. Let's see what's going on with it. Watch the series finale of X-Men next Saturday morning. Check your local listings. I'm grateful to have the chance to say goodbye. I am proud of you all, my X-Men. Fate lies in our hands now. 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 We have to stay vigilant. The professor entrusted us with his dream. No matter how dark it is, we must believe in each other. We get this done by working together as a team. Jeez, Bob, keep buzzing in my ear. To me, my X-Men. Magneto. The last will and testament of Charles Xavier. Everything he built now belongs to me. Go first. I got a lot to say about this. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go for it, go for nah, it. I want to hear first. your take. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want me? <laughs> go first, man. <laughs> All right. Um, I like it. I definitely do. Um, I'm not even going front. Like I was a big fan of that X Men cartoon that came on Fox back in the day when I was a kid. I watched it faithfully faithfully on Saturdays. I'm not even going front. And when they took it off of television, I was pissed. I was really, really pissed. Because the way that cartoon was depicted, it was ahead of its time. And I'm not even talking about as far as the um, the uh, characters or whatnot. I'm talking as far as the artwork. The artwork was top of the notch top five like at that particular time you wasn't seeing the cartoons with that type of artwork being done it looked like something that could be done now that's how the artwork was done that's how the cartoon the screen everything the visuals the visuals was top notch so when they took that thing off the air i was one of the ones that was very pissed you know what i'm saying because the lineup that it came on with it was like it was like dc marvel dc marvel and then x-men came on at last you know what i'm saying and the, and but the dc cartoons didn't even come on on the same channel they came on except for the batman and robin joint batman and robin came on that channel but the other dc cartoons came on um 
I believe it was uh, Philadelphia. It called Philadelphia Seventeen, but now uh, now it's a, it's a different. I think it's uh, CB CB four something. Anyway, what I'm saying is that the uh, the cartoon. I'm glad they brought it back out, and I'm glad they revamped it. I'm glad they done everything with it. It's it's it was it was fire to me. It was fire. You know what I mean? I don't see nothing wrong with it. Um, I just hope uh, whatever story or plot they're going into, because I did read some of it, so but I didn't read everything. But I don't want to spoil it for nobody, so I'm just going to leave it at that. But whatever they're doing, I just hope they do it justice. You know what I mean? I don't hope. I hope Disney don't dumb it down because it did at one point. Uh, that cartoon had some dark parts. And that's what made me enjoy it even more. You know what I mean? So hopefully they keep it that way and they don't go twist and turn it because then I think that'll mess up the whole entire cartoon. So we'll see. But far as as far as I'm concerned, that joint, that joint was fire. Oh, man. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Mm, let me clear my throat for this. There you go. There right, you go. Man, look, man. How do I say this? Um, okay, so the initial the initial X Men ninety seven, ninety six, thirty seven was classic to me. That was great. You know what I'm saying? The original artwork was great. I kind of got to give you some pushback on that. I don't think it was ahead of its time as far as like the best animated series back then. Um, to me, it, it was probably, it was probably third. You know what I'm saying? Well, if we going to go back further than that, I definitely take Thundercats and oh, animation over that. You know what I'm saying? That was a little, to me, that was a little bit different, but X-Men was more of a, a late teenager cartoon. You know what I'm saying? Like the late teens. What I mean by that is closer to 17, 18, 19 years old. You watching mm-hmm. X-Men, just like Batman, Batman animated series, which is the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? You ain't getting no better than that. Um, But this one here, I read a lot about it. When you told me about it, I went online and I started reading about it. And it's going to be some woke garbage. See, the, the trailer is, 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 is good because it's showing you what it is. But they got characters in there that's non-binary gay characters, which is fine. You can have gay characters. That's cool. But what I, don't, what I, what I understand from Disney is they want to put all this stuff at the forefront. So just be prepared for that to be a vocal point in the story. You know what I'm saying? Just be prepared for that. Now, mm-hmm. as far as the characters go, of course you got Wolverine and, and all the people that did the voices, they all came back. Yeah, I noticed that. You know what I'm saying? This 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 what I read. I read that all the actors that did the voice acting, they all came back. So my thing is, is that's a side note, everything I'm saying. From what I feel about the trailer, it, it gave me the nostalgic feeling. It made me feel like I was back in 97 watching this again. Instead of the original music, it looks like that. With that being said, that kind of threw me off because I've seen better cartoons now, which is fine because you want you want people to have that nostalgic feel. They want to get fans like us to come back. You know what I'm saying? So you want to keep that that aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? That, that's from back then. You want to keep that because if you if they was to come out with something that was more modern and newer and it was like let's say like like the the new justice league uh animated movie if it looked like that then people probably wouldn't appreciate it they'd be like oh man they shouldn't have redone it but they use the same i believe they use the same artist too the same animation the same artist it make you feel like it's back in 97 that's why they put x-men 97 on there you know what i'm saying because it makes you feel like it's it's that time but with that being said, for me, 
I would rather had them updated it and probably made it look a little more modern with a super banging story. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to still watch it because it's from back in the day and it's a continuation of after Xavier passed away, which I, I believe he's going to come. Come on, Xavier. It's not gonna, he's going to come back. But I believe that that's what's going to happen. So I'm looking forward to this. I think that this is something that that is going to get people more in tune and more. What's the name? More in tune to what it is. But I don't know, man. I got my feelings about the comic book genre as far as movies go. And I think it ran its course because of uh the last couple of movies that was just wasn't good um animated move animated series may be a little bit different but it's hard to compete in that in that category now because you got attack on titan you got uh all these animated shows that are way better than than american <coughs> cartoons so it's hard to compete <coughs> in that space you know what i'm saying because maga manga got it on lock right now you know what i'm saying they got it on lock like from everything you can think of even the newest dragon ball z's like if you ain't doing nothing like that like the latest you seen the latest dragon ball z no nah, I, I i didn't see i didn't see i didn't see that i heard about it but i didn't uh i didn't watch it just yet but i'm going well, to a now. couple of they got a couple of joints but anyway if you ain't if you ain't doing nothing like that, if you ain't doing nothing like the latest uh, DC cartoons, then I it's, you might as well just not do it. Because animation can be for it. It's so many Castlevania. Uh, 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 what's the other one? Um, uh, uh, Invincible. Like, if you're not doing nothing like that. It's no, it, it's no competition. You might not even compete. Invincible, mm. d- d- come on, bro. Castlevania, if you, if you're not making animation like that and and talk and like really g- going in and showing the full potential of what cartoons can do, then it's no point. But I think that this is gonna surprise a lot of people because they're gonna come back to that. So, so we'll see what happens, man. But yeah. You know what it is. Sketchpad, X-Men, trailer. You know what it is. See y'all, peace, bye.